I'm inside the uh, auto show. Here's a uh, cool car right here with the 2020 Corvette Stingray. The Toyota LQ prototype will be the human support robot. Hopefully I can hook up with my friends from Ford. I've been knowing them for a while. They come out of Detroit every year to the DC Auto Show. And by the way, the reason why it is uh, fairly sparse in here is that the, the car manufacturers will try to talk to, would like to talk to the government employees to see if they can get some interest in buying some of their vehicles. So this man right here is, uh, I'm gonna see if I can interview him. He's with Ford in Michigan. I wanna see if I can talk to him. This is the 2020 Mach E. Yeah, no, it's not a 2020. So thank you for correcting <laughs> me. See, we already on a good road. Matter of fact, this is Tony, and he is fresh out of Detroit, and he's camera shy, so the camera won't be on you all the time. Just every now and then. Well, Ford is excited to bring out the Mustang Mach E. Um, this is our first purpose-built electric vehicle, and it's coming out in three different bodies. Uh, one will be the GT, which is what you're looking at right here. Also a base model and also another premium model. Uh, this vehicle comes in rear wheel and all wheel drive configuration. Mm -hmm. um, it has two ranges uh, for its batteries packs. That will be over, there'll be a 300 mile range and there'll be another in the 200 plus mile range as well. Okay. Uh, very exciting to bring this vehicle to you. Um, just a couple of questions. So you said there would be three types, correct? Yeah, there's three different separate models. I don't have the exact names. This happens to be the Mustang Mach-E GT. Just the GT. Okay, so this can come in rear wheel or all wheel, correct? Correct. I'm not sure exactly about the GT model itself, if okay. it's both. But okay. uh, I know that the vehicle itself comes in at both rear wheel and all wheel drive. So. so I know you guys have been doing well because I understand that you pretty much sold out all of the pre-orders. <clears throat> yeah. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, so the base model was the one where we've taken registrations and filled the registrations. I believe that it's still open mm -hmm. for you to make a reservation for the GT. Mm -hmm. So have your viewers go in there and make a reservation for the GT. I will. I mean, because it's not about Tesla, it's about EVs. Yes, uh, and it is. And I, I'm shooting this out to worldwide. Yeah. It's great that uh, Ford and other companies are stepping up and bringing out EVs. Yeah. You know, what was the reason behind going to EVs because you guys been like you told me before most of the Ford family is known for the F trucks the F-150, 250, 350. Sure. I think you kind of uh, going back down you're not doing a focus in the in the uh, other F cars like the Fusion things like that right? Correct so we're moving from you know from cars right. to SUVs and to trucks okay. and this is a really good example because right. this vehicle itself is more of a crossover Right? Oh, right, we're right, looking, right, right. and you can see how we picked up the Mustang Qs in the back. Right. We still have Mustangs over there on the other side. You can see we have the Mustang GT on display as mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. um, and the G GT500. Okay. Um, so anyway, so the point is, is that why EVs? Because EVs are a way of the future right. in terms of fuel economy, okay. um, in terms of uh, our Ford plan to build on our strengths, which are vehicles that uh, we're good at. So you're going to see electric vehicles in the F-150. We've announced that already. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. And we have a hybrid version coming out in the 2021 model. We made okay. that announcement okay. as ready for the F-150. Okay. Okay. And then we have other commercial grade vehicles where we really are very strong in the marketplace to have wow. more electrified vehicles there too as wow. well. Okay, so. so this one max is about 300. The other one that is not as expensive, it, what, what's the mileage range for that one? Yeah, I just know it to be 200 plus. 200 plus. So okay. yeah, I don't okay. know the exact number. Okay. So. Now I know I can't stand on stage. How close can we, can I just get up to this blue barrier right here? Sure can. I'd like you to get the front end too. Okay. This is the, the front view, as you can see the Mustang logo on the front of the vehicle, right. as well as you can see the Mustang look with the hood. Right. Also, one thing that's uh, one thing about this vehicle is that you have a what is called a frunk 
which is a <laughs> which is a trunk in the front. Yes. So underneath that hood, there yes. is a space that you could actually put a carry-on luggage okay. to take with you. So how big is that space? Is it just? Uh, um, it's about the carry-on luggage. About the carry-on luggage size. Carry -on size. <laughs> okay, I mentioned yeah. that because uh, it's good to have extra storage spaces. I'm dancing to the music. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Anything else you want to talk about? I know I cut you off on the, on the front. Yeah. Now the charging is right here by the front tire. Is that where the charging is? Yeah. There's your there's your charging uh, door to connect to your charger. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, one last question. You may or may not know this answer. Uh, your charging network. What charging network? I understand that Ford has a charging network. Is that true? Oh. And you uh, and have show something on your phone about the network? Well, it's is called, that top Ford, secret? <laughs> called Ford Pass. Okay. And Ford Pass is an app okay. as a Ford owner. Okay. And I don't have Ford Pass up. Oh, that's but all right. But Ford Pass um, is... We don't want to see your code. Yeah. So Ford Pass is available. And uh, what I do is I use it. Okay. And when you open up Ford Pass... Um, it will take a second to open. It yeah. gives you the ability to, and this is my car, so you okay. can see that I drive an Escape. Okay. You could actually go and look up uh, Find Fuel. Okay. And if you find fuel, you could actually find charging stations. Oh, wow, look at that. And you okay. could just hit on charging stations, right. and we'll see the charging stations that are local into this area. Right. And you can wow. see no results wow. found here. Yeah, so, well, of course. So, yeah, so it, this is part of the four charging. Well, that's cool. Uh, I, this is really cool. Um, have you seen it? I mean, you've seen inside. I know it's a, it has a the screen right there in the middle is like Tesla-esque. It's, it's a 19-inch screen, I think. Yeah, right? I don't I don't know much about the interior. Okay, okay. So, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna get you off the hook. You've been you've been a champ. You come out of Detroit all the way to uh, out here to see us every year. Right. And I've been knowing you almost ten years now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah that's you know, great. we used so. to hang out in Kentucky. Remember? <laughs> yes. Yes. So yeah. So this is a great show. This right. is the Fed Fleet show, right. uh, annual show where right. Ford and uh, is with, and we're here obviously on our vehicle display, and we're able to be with all the federal agency right. fleet managers around the world. Right. Right. So well, thank you again. Coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.